class so today's tutorial is going to be on shading so for today's tutorial we're going to go over the three sorry the four basic shading techniques that i use in my class and i teach to my students now the four basic shading techniques that you're going to use we're going to start with the first one which is hatching so hatching lines are lines that are rep repeated over next to each other. Uh, the farther apart, the darker, the lighter the shade, the closer together, the darker the shade. So as you're doing the hatching lines, what we're going to do is we're going to take lines and add them diagonally one next to each other. So starting off with some, just throwing some down real quick. Notice how I'm just quickly throwing lines apart from each other going back over it now notice I'm working in pen here guys when you are working with uh, your shading techniques pencils always preferred however for me pen I like to have that finished quality when I'm when I'm working so that, so that, that that piece is done and notice how as I've created that hatching line on that edge of that adding lines on top of that gives a more finished quality look which is kind of what we're going for second the second one that we're working on here is cross hatching cross hatching all we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the same thing as before we're doing hatching lines throwing some diagonal lines across the page from left to right however you want to do it's fine by me but the problem but the thing is you're coming back across them going the opposite way so you have little x's things are uh the lines are crossing over each other uh, again closer together darker the shade farther apart lighter the shade so as I do a cross hatching technique on this side of this beard, this jawline that I've got going on, uh, you can do stubble techniques with this. However, the next step will give you a better stubble application that is stippling. Stippling is a series of dots that are laced over uh, the paper to give lightness or darkness to the shadows that you're trying to evolve in your image. Now when I'm doing stippling, number one thing for me is uh, I tell my students you don't want to uh, A, hear the pen as you're making it, and B, I don't like teaching it out uh, you know, all the time just because it's one of those things that just slowly drives you nuts over time. Now, stippling, throwing some dots down on the paper, no house, I'm bouncing my pen vivaciously down there on that paper, but as I'm doing that, notice what, the, what marks are being made. They're not dots, they're more dashes. So when you do stippling, you have to do it in a very precise way. Also, I'm gonna, let's do, zoom in on this and look at all those things. There's little dashes, there's not dots. Stippling is dot boat based. Dots, dots, dots. That's what you want to focus on. So, what I'm gonna do here is barely bounce the tinger tips that I've got and listen very closely. No sound is being made as I'm making those dots on that paper. Now, all that I'm doing here is I'm barely m moving the fingertips not the wrist is not moving the wrist is staying very still at, on the, on my board as I'm working here and I'm just going around slowly in a nice neat pattern closer together darker the shade farther apart lighter the shade so as I start to space them out that stippling gives a more faded effect it, that's that's a very easy simple shading technique it gives a lot of design a lot of flavor into your drawings however I will say up front it will drive you nuts because when you do stippling it is all about perfection uh, hatching cross hatching you can kind of do a lot quicker notice how I threw those lines down a lot faster and it just looks uh, nice and smooth nice zoom in so you guys can see nice neat little dot patterns but they're all single dots that is the imperative thing for stippling last one here that we got is blending now when you guys are working on blending you can't do blending with a pen i'm sorry you just can't but you got to use a pencil for that so with the pencil throwing down some hashing cross hatching lines notice how my pen how i'm holding my pen i'm holding it more towards the eraser end so that i can spread out those lines but i'm angling along the edge of the paper at a different angle which gives the graphite better to work with and blending you're just using a fingertip or if you got uh, like a stump of some paper and you use it to blend your lines together however you do that is up to you now as I'm doing this I'm going over in different variations there's a lightness a darkness a, a uh, some true levels in that shading quality and that just brings up a nicer quality to, to your shading overall now one big thing for me as, as a teacher and when I see this I really stress to my students to make sure I see those levels. Otherwise, it's just this one weird smeared, like silver spot that just kind of flashes on me. It doesn't really do anything. It just kind of sits there. And for me, that's just not good drawing skills. And there's things that you can do to make yourself better. So make sure you have different levels, different variations out on your designs. 
All right, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you learned something today and uh, some wonderful drawing and drawing techniques. Uh, as always, if you would like, share, subscribe down there at the bottom. Uh, do truly appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys next class. Later, guys.